coming to you from the Nuthouse Studios, presented by Gone Squirrel Radio Show. This is a Soapbox Smorgasbord Podcast with your hosts Jason and Ryan, so kick back and enjoy the show. Hey everyone, and welcome in for our 25th episode of the Soapbox Smorgasbord Podcast, Squirrels Out for Summer. We are your hosts, I am Jason. And I am Ryan, a.k.a. Robin Noel. And we've got a smorgasbord of stuff today. <laughs> We're going to do a couple snacks. Uh, we are going to attempt to do a phone call on our brand new studio line thing. A prank call. I don't know we could get away with a prank call. I don't want to prank call someone this late. Um, and then we're going to play some games. And yeah, yeah. so let's dig in. What are we What are we doing first? Well, Neko's already bugging. I think she'll Oh, she them. smells the food. Obviously so. So picked up some Wingstop. I love me some Wingstop. Yeah, that's right. Um, figure it out. So I went to Little People Wrestling on uh, last sunday and i got this this is micro wrestling federation check them out they're cool they have a show on uh discovery channel you can watch it on hulu it's called big little brawlers check it out so first thing we got is we got these i think they are louisiana or cajun voodoo fries Uh oh they look hot Mm, they look fire might as well just grab yeah. your fork and oh grab a fork. I got my fork right home. You dig in, man. Oh, it looks bomb. Uh, yep, that's got some instant heat to it. Ah. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be sloppy. It's got some instant heat to it. That's pretty good. Damn, them are good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like them. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm, give me a little it's bit not more. Too, Those are bomb. Dude. It's like it's like a peppery, not like a spicy. Nah, nah, it's just peppery. But I like it. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. We'll have to save those for a little bit. Mm-hmm. We got more stuff. I like that one. Oh god, it's good. I like it. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> That's a water. Slide those mm-hmm. over there. Mm-hmm. We grabbed four different flavors of wings. Wang a dang. What we got there? Let's move this over. Well, I'd like to try it naked without sauce right now. Yeah. But- so these are, I believe, garlic parmesan. Ooh. And this is the first one. Ooh. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. I'm so bomb. Oh, wow. Okay. I'm try. Okay, so we got um, Sriracha Ranch with Chili Lime Cholula. Let's nice. Try. Come on, let's give it a shotty. Give it a shotty. Oh, yeah. It ain't got the bomb in it, I promise you. I wouldn't lie to you. You know I don't lie. Mm. It's against my moral system. Okay. And yes, we got boneless wings. Cause, Damn, they're no. good, dude. Okay. Yeah, I got to dig in some more, brother. Those are good. Come on, we got to get some. Yeah, it's good with this. Get on in. Dip them real good, boy. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh. That's good. Oh, my feet coming around the cord. Hey. Dang it. Here we go. Mm-hmm. Oh my god! That so, other half of that one's yours. Is it me? Uh-huh. Oh, you should. Oh, you shouldn't have. I get those are fired. Okay. Hmm. Oh, we got some more. Oh mm-hmm. my! These ones. Let me check my flavors. I can't remember what flavors I got. Oh, those are good, man. Um, wow, the Parmesan ones are so good. Stay on the bag. Man, they didn't put it on there. Okay, so those were garlic parmesan. Squirrels out for summer. No, not Amazon. Um, <laughs> while I'm while I'm looking this up. Okay, there we go. What? 
Um, <coughs> that was the garlic parmesan. These should be either hot honey rub mm -hmm. or mango habanero. Okay. These are probably the hot honey rub. I'm going to definitely try one without any sauce. Those are hot honey. They're good, though. Mm-hmm. Mm. They're not hot, but... Now, even my dip's not that hot, but still. Really good, though. Tastes good. I mean, I've... Man. I like it. Mm-hmm. Mm. Little side note while we are crunching away in your ear. I mean, for real. Our, um, so well, like, a couple side notes. Well, I chew like a camel or a cow. Um, <laughs> the, the Fierce Bananas baseball team that I coach or help coach and yeah. that we are a sponsor for, mm -hmm. um, we had a, well, our game that we were supposed to play last night got oh. rained out. But, um, our, uh, first game. We tied 10-10. We got a lot of new kids. We got some kids that haven't played. and we New kids on the block? Yep. And we've got a couple kids that that were out. One of them broke his wrist before the season even started. So oh, we man. don't have him yet. But A broken wrist would definitely cause a problem with mm -hmm. baseball. A 10-10 tie, though, is better than a loss. That's like a broken ankle in football. <laughs> right? Yep. Hmm. Broken right. wrist, broken uh, ankle would s screw me over in my job. I don't know about you, man. What? What's up? Those things are sauced up. Look at I, those uh, Do I need a fork on this one? It looks like I need a fork. It's saucy. I won the Olympics with a bre broken freaking neck. So you, know. <laughs> you need to wipe your mouth. You got sauce on your lips. Your lips, man. Speaking of <clears throat> Olympics, I'd like to give a shout out to our, our buddy Cody. That's right. K9. Who, who is... Helping coach the Kansas Special Olympics team uh, right. in the state championship this weekend. So yeah, that's what's up. Good luck, guys. Yep. All right, let's what are, get into these ones. What are these ones? They got these some, are either Hawaiian or mango habanero. They got a lot of sauce on them. Then I know the other ones were dry. Uh. Oh yeah. Mm, let's see what this one's about. I'm trying to... Oh, it's got some heat. Oh, okay. Uh-oh. Those are mango habanero. I like those. Oh, they're good, dude. Damn. Or is that the Hawaiian? I don't... I can't tell, man. Well, no. If the next ones are hot, then... Looks like a saucy chicken That nugget. looks like habanero. Mm-hmm. Wait, why'd we only get four of these ones? They robbed us. They gypped us. Mm-hmm. Mm. Those are bomb, dude. Not even hot. I think those are the Hawaiian. Oh, they're so good. I mean, no way that's Mago Habanero. Uh, mm. Yeah, well, I think they should be hotter than that. Mm. Okay. The last one's yours. That's me? Yep. Uh-huh. Yeah. By all, by, all, by all means. They gypped us a damn wing. You got more in there? Holy crap. Yeah, dude. this Another, is the mango habanero. This guy went crazy on the layers. Well, it, uh, yeah, they separate them out by flavor. All right. These look okay. like mango habanero. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Is it really? I think so. Ooh, look at these things. Okay. So oh, far, they're all balling, man. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm hmm. I'm going to go have a And that's got some spice. Oh, that does. About time. Yep. Yeah, that's got some bite. That's what I was hoping from the other ones. This one actually, shoot. Man, we should just roll with those. Those are hot, dude. I like that. Nice little heat. Mm. Nice little hit. 
and it's lingering. It's getting down the gum, on the gums, and tip of the tongue. I like it. Ooh, super wow. <laughs> huh? If you guys have don't know what super wow is, it's this dude in. And we're gonna help wash this down with some Sunny D Rocket Pop. Rocket Pop, which I assume is a lemonade. It probably is. Oh, Sunny D. Yep, sugar helps kind of balance out the spice. Where's that cap? Um, Stop the cap. <laughs> so on TikTok, I came across this guy that he does this like golden baklava. Mm-hmm. And he does a whole lot of nothing where he's like the showmanship where they they hit the knives against stuff and like. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, for some reason he says super wow after he does it. And so for about a week straight, me and my son Kyler went around saying super wow all the time and <laughs> annoyed the hell out of my wife. Mm. Uh, yeah. Put that in the fridge again. Mm. That one's good, dude. That's good super dizzle. All right. <sighs> Sunny D. Ready for another one of these? Yeah, for sure. Splitting the difference, right? Yep. Woo-wee. Yeah, I think mm. it's crazy that the Sriracha Ranch might actually cool it down. I know, for real. It did. Oh, it's good. <clears throat> Mm. Ooh, I wonder if they have hotter. I mean, not that I'm one to aim for it. Well, that's pretty damn good, though. I like it. It's got. It's not as hot as the pace pecan, but is this it with the the dinner stuff? I mean, the snack, the dinner snacks. Uh huh. Ooh. Okay, you want to really cool off? You want to finish that? Oh, you got one more? Oh, I didn't That's see your it. Half, yeah. I didn't see it. Mm. Okay. Let's keep I'm going to save that because I'd okay, like to finish keep off. These. Keep the ranches. Okay. Okay. Well. Ooh. Okay. I know that's got some heat, dude. <laughs> uh, okay. Hot. Here, I'll really cool us off. What you got uh, over there? Okay. <coughs> I, give me a second, man, because this says hot. <sighs> uh, give me some water. Okay, so this is my lunch pail for the bus. You brought the... Yeah, and it's got... I put some ice in there. Ice, ice, baby. Yeah, and there's another one. Okay. This is made by Nestle. Cookies and cream. Cookies and cream. Ooh, and uh, cookies and cream. Uh. Oh, <laughs> well, I will worry about the other ones here in a second. Let's eat the cookies and cream first. And I got to get rid of some of this. Uh, man, my tongue is on fire. It's summertime, man. It's ice cream time, mm-hmm. baby. Cookies and cream is bomb. Uh-huh. Mm. Mm. Are you a blue bunny or Nestle or you do not discriminate? I don't discriminate. Ice cream's ice cream, man. Mm-hmm. I even like the Kroger brand. You know? Mm-hmm. I'm cool with off-brand. Mmm. So far. That's helping. Uh-huh, see? <laughs> Got mango habanero. Okay. Yeah, mango habanero's legit. Mm-hmm. The other ones were good, but nothing like, I mean, they didn't have that bite. Nope. They claimed to have bite, but they didn't have bite. Well, I mean, some of them didn't really claim to have much bite, but I don't know. I think that I think mango habaneros are hottest, but mm-hmm. here I'm gonna save it. Okay. If you want to do the hot, hot ones, we we'll have to do some buffalo wild wings one of these times. All right, I'm gonna save it because we're gonna do the other ones. What we got here? We got chocolatey drumstick or. White chocolate and fudge. Which one do you want, brother? I'll do the chocolate. Chocolate. The triple. It's triple chocolate, right? Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna keep mine. 
cold because I'm not going to finish it. I want to. Oh, you just going straight chocolate? Yeah. Okay. Do you want to save that? You're going to go ahead and eat it. I'll probably just finish it off. Sure. All right. Cool. It's helping. <laughs> <laughs> that spice right. is lingering, man. Yeah, I'm just getting full here. All right. Full of it. All right. So we got the white chocolate and fudge. Ooh, and it's all chocolate. Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> Was that a... Uh-huh. Ooh, that bomb. Spice starting to go down, mm. so finally. Love me some good ice cream. There's nothing like it. These are good. These um were eight, eight in a box, right? Usually like 10 bucks. But I used my Dylan's card. And they were three ninety nine with the Dylan's card. Well done. If you clip the coupon, you got to clip it. Kroger. I like the Kroger. The Kroger app for your phone is awesome. The cone's a little chewy. It's not. It's not crunchy. I wonder if this one's gonna be crunchy. Mm. Find out in a second. You know, I think it's because I only got a couple of days left on it. I want to take advantage of this. I think I'm going to go up there and take advantage of the $3.99 mm-hmm. for an eight-pack. I like eating these. I, I actually wouldn't mind getting the ones with the nuts on them. They have, like, the chocolate in the bottom. I love the chocolate in the bottom. It used to be a... Mm, oh, my God. So good. The ice cream is, like, velvety. 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 Our this Christmas. one is triple chocolate. Mm-hmm. Oh, it looks bomb. Mm-hmm. How is it, good? It's good. It's got mm. chocolate. Mm, can't go wrong. Chocolate, chocolate on the outside. Mm-hmm. Chocolate cone. I got chocolate. Cho- man. I got chocolate Ooh. right in the middle of this uh, vanilla. That heat's going back from the wings. Hmm. <laughs> mm. Ain't no joke. Yeah, the wings are bomb. I uh, the wings were not disappointing. I'm gonna do a little check here real quick. What their hottest one is? Oh no. I'm curious. Is there anything hotter than the habanero mango? I'll look in just a second. Mm-hmm. I'm checking with uh, with one of our peoples. I don't want to call and wake people up, but I'd like to have a like to try out our our line. Ooh, man. Um, let's see what the hottest one is. Damn, this is good. Uh, wing. Okay, so Atomic is one more hotter than habanero mango. Or the mango atomic? habanero. Mm-hmm. Huh. Maybe let's we'll try Atomic sometime. Yeah. Atomic, there's... So... Mango habanero is four out of five. Atomic is five out of five. And then Hawaiian and garlic parmesan don't have either. And then hot honey has three out of five. Yep. So we'll have to we'll have to give Which one has five out of five? The atomic. Mm. So we could have done the atomic, I guess. There's chocolate in the bottom. I know. Just so you know. Oh, it's like I started ducking. That was so good. Oh my god, that was so good. Like I like the um the cookies and cream, but it mm-hmm. ain't got nothing on these cones. What we got there? These are conversation cards. We're gonna start out with these. Is that right? Because we're still kinda kind of munching a little bit. <clears throat> I don't know if I'm I can handle the conversation. Oh whatever. <laughs> If you could visit any country 
where would you go and why? If I could visit any country, where would I go and why? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, that's a good question. Um, I would go to Japan to look for a wife. I would go. You know what that's called? Passport bros. (laughs) (laughs) I'd go, uh, man. I'd say Italy or Greece. I've just always been drawn to it, man. Yeah. The food, the, like. The the old country. The old they call it. Yeah. Uh, the old country. <laughs> Might as well finish. Um my other yeah. What is one thing you have always wanted to learn or try but haven't had the chance yet? Hmm. You haven't had the chance yet? Mm-hmm. I want to learn to play. I've got, I I picked up one with the intentions of learning and haven't done it, but I want to learn how to play ukulele or guitar or something like that. Skydiving. I mean, it's dangerous. I wouldn't want to, but as long as it's all the safety stuff is involved, I would love to skydive. I saw, I saw a video the other day and I thought of you, Mm -hmm. they dropped this dude out of a helicopter and he had a parasail. Mm Mm-hmm. And but he's but it didn't open or something. No, 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 no. But he's strapped into a life raft or into a, a inflatable boat or inflatable raft. Oh, so he basically paraglides into water into the water. As long as it's above water, I'm good. Because I'm scared. I watch some of those skydivers, and then I've also seen where skydivers where the, where the parachute doesn't open. Yeah, when they hit the ground, terrible. Mm-hmm. If you could have a magical power, what would it be and how would you use it? Man, I, I got to pick, just pick one power. Man. This is a fun one. I This reminds me of like a Marvel character or something. It'd have to be one of two. I'd either have to have the power to heal mm-hmm. or I hate to say it, but it kind of go the route of what women want with the reading minds. Well, you and I already have professor X's, uh, hairline. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, okay. I would say, and this happens because sometimes in traffic, I'd like to be able to move objects. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, and when I'm driving a bus and and I see people doing dumb stuff in traffic, I just like to be able to like this shove their car to the side. Oh, like off of Bruce Almighty when he's just yes, like, <laughs> parting the sea or mm-hmm. something. Ah, I get ice cream on it. No, I didn't. Okay, a little tiny bit. A little tiny bit. That's on the end. Uh, where? Oh, it is on there. Whoops. What is your favorite way to spend time with friends and loved ones? My favorite way? Yeah. Food texting. <laughs> no. Social distance. <laughs> no. Um, my favorite way, I guess you could say holidays or whatever, but I don't know. I like to just, every once in a while, I'll give them a holler and be like, hey, I'm coming over to hang out. I'm yeah. coming to Topeka to hang out or whatever. Um, Kind of just. Yeah. I mean, if I had the money to travel, because, I mean, my sister lives down in close to Missouri. Actually, she lives Brothers in out in L.A. Yeah, she, she, yeah, and it's, if I could go visit more and had the money to do so, I would do that more often. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I, and before that, if I had the power, snap my finger and I can go anywhere I want. I go, yeah. oh, I want to go to Italy tomorrow. I want to go visit my sister in two minutes and I'm there. Right. Yep. Could you imagine that? That's a cool power. I I agree with you on the holiday thing, man. Getting together with some good food, just yep. nice weather. But a lot of times what happens 
and this is something I had to talk with my aunt and uncle about. It seems like as we get older, we don't hang out like we used to mm -hmm. when I was a kid or whatever. So I try to, when I'm in Topeka, I like to go over and say, hey, I'm going to come over. I'm in Topeka. Is that cool? And go over and visit them. Yeah. They like that. Instead of just doing it on holidays, right? Mm -hmm. I, think it, I think it means more, you know. Mm -hmm. And I hate to use it as an example, but, you know, you get a lot of people that hate Valentine's Day or whatever. I don't and, hate it. I don't hate it. But there's a lot of people that do, and for the reason. That, or, or they're like, it's a dumb holiday. And, like, you know, buy their flat loved ones flowers or whatever any other time and yeah i mean it's commercialized yeah just everything like is. just like christmas is and mm -hmm. all that i mean <clears throat> santa claus was created to to basically as a as a way to basically Wait. yeah I mean, make it to where parents have to buy tons of stuff for mm -hmm. kids <sighs> yeah. i mean the right way to do that is your basic stuff like stocking stuffers and socks and stuff yeah, like that yeah. say that came from santa everything else you say came from the parents if yeah. you're going to do st that that way santa claus it softens a blow well that way some kid later doesn't, on in life that way some kid doesn't think you know well santa all santa brought me was you know some used hot wheels and stuff like that why did he bring you know tommy two doors over a playstation 5 and all the latest games and everything. And so it, it kind of makes it to where Santa. It, almost it like he plays it favorites it is what these parents do. Yeah, it doesn't hurt as much. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got you. If you could have any meal prepared for you, what would it be and why? Any meal? Uh-huh. Home cooked. Wow. You know, and I'm, I guess I'm kind of basic, but I better go with something way different. Um, you know, okay. I've actually had, when I used to date a Japanese girl, she cooked me some really good Japanese food. So if I could have like some really, really, really good Japanese food created for me, I'm down with that. Like done in the old, like Japan, like that type of stuff. I'm not talking about sushi. I'm talking about actual Japanese food at a really upscale restaurant. Yeah. That'd be sweet. Um man, I'd gotta say something. You know that's coming, right? What's that? Someday I will marry the kind of woman I like. Mm hmm Okay. I like loyalty. Some uh <laughs> dude, a country fried steak. I don't know the last time that I had a country fried steak. Like homemade with some scratch gravy on it. Oh, you went straight up American style. Yeah, it's yeah, just I got you. Some what about what about know. some foreign food then? You know, you always Ooh. you was talking about Italy and stuff. Maybe some good Italian food, some good French food. Oh right? yeah, like a five star style meal. I just can't go wrong. No, 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 no. The best food. People, <laughs> don't, people don't realize. Like you know, they automatically think fancy and. Big five star restaurants and stuff, mm -hmm. but you know the poor areas seem to be where the better food's at. Well, they put more of their love into it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like you go into the into the the poor areas and industrial areas and you know stuff like that in Kansas City. You know the the don't come here yeah. when when it's dark areas. Oh, true and, that, dude. That's where the best food's at. I um I was watching this um documentary on Netflix a while back. And it was about centenarians. And if you don't know what centenarians are, it's people that are in their 90s and above. And the biggest population of those kind of people are down south of Italy. They have a little island down south of Italy. And um, there was a guy on there that was like 98 years old. And they went to visit him. And they were hanging out with him. And he was eating like homemade pasta and stuff. Mm -hmm. And they went with him to drink some really good... Uh, homemade espresso and i would love to be in a place that had because i love espresso Hold and on. i would love to be in a place like that what are you doing we're going to give making you giving someone a call we're gonna give our buddy don a call he's still up and awake for a few minutes are you sure that's what he said okay we're gonna give can, this a try so he can hear us on here yep oh that's awesome
Don. Hello. You're on the podcast. Hi. You're live on the podcast. What up? I'm on the podcast. Yes. You are. Yes, you are. Uh, All right. Got a question for you. Did you order four egg rolls and a bowl of rice? No, wrong question. Oh. oh. Uh, <laughs> if you could have any meal prepared for you from scratch, what would it be and why? Any meal from scratch. Mm-hmm. I said, like, some good, like, from the poor area of Italy Italian food. Mm. And Ryan said some authentic Japanese yep. food. Authentic Japanese. Has to be Japanese. It could Actually, be- I probably would go with the Japanese myself. When I was in Okinawa, I had squid, yakisoba, and octopus balls that were just, I bought guy like every weekend oh wow nice that is cool that's a good yeah right on yeah and while i'm there i'm gonna find me a wife too what do you think of that Mm. come on man (laughs) you have to be careful with that why why is that a lot of them girls out there just want to use you for the green cards Oh, they'll. You're just. You're, they're just you, you're just a, a free ticket back to the state. But he, well, well, and if they get in the ring with me, uh, uh, they may change their mind. <laughs> <laughs> All right, got another. Got another couple. If you could have a magical power, what would it be, and how would you use it? I went the route of. Uh, uh, what women want yeah. and be able to read minds or be able to heal people. And what did you say? Oh, oh, I said in traffic, and this may work for him too. When people do dumb stuff in traffic, you can just basically like shove their car to the side. <laughs> like you can move their vehicle. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. that's just a daily intrusive thought. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I like the whole read minds thing. I get, I dig that, but also just, just go full Magneto and just start shoving cars out of the way. Exactly. Yes. I was, I was thinking off the Bruce Almighty while he just sits there and just parts oh, the Red he, Sea. Well, oh, he part. Yeah. Well, he parted the tomato soup. Remember? Yeah. So, and I also thought about this too. Um, what if? Okay, I'm just trying to think of that power I was thinking of. Here, hold on. Um, what is, I mean, I'm having a brain fart here, guys. Dang it. Um, dag nabbit. Hold on, I'll shake this. We've got egg shaker. Um, and I'm gapping out. What did I say? I forget. I don't remember. Damn it. I didn't know you was going to ask him that. Well, anyways. All right, I'll think of it in a second. What, uh, where are you, where, where are you at now? I'm down here in Dallas. Nice. Back towards home base. Yeah. 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 Um, so. But, uh, I would probably go with, uh, we lo- I, I, I'd probably go with, uh, Johnny Blaze's power of going full Inferno. <laughs> oh, mm-hmm. a ghost rider. Yeah. So, okay, Don, I thought of my, what I was going to say. I just kind of had a gap out fart moment. Um, okay. Now, <clears throat> you travel a lot, but there's sometimes, like, I really want to go to a place, but I don't want to fly there. I don't want to deal with the whole travel thing. Could you imagine just snapping your fingers, be like, man, you know what? I want to go to Dallas in two minutes. Snapping your fingers and you're there. Do you imagine having that power? Oh yeah, how nice it'd be to just yeah, be like, there. Yeah, I want to go to Pluto. Snap your fingers, you're there. Pluto's a planet, by the way. It, yeah, it's not. A, it, well, they say it's a star. Actually, it's not a planet anymore. Yeah, it's Don. a star. <laughs> 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 he made a good point. <laughs> um, <laughs> this now, is like us having a third guest. I'm going to. This is uh, cool. Yeah, I like this. Now, Don, question: What does it mean if someone says there's a bear in the sky? Fuck if I know. Come on, trucker lingo. 
A bear in the a sky? A bear in the sky? Yeah. Oh, that's a police helicopter. All right. What's a, what's a, what's a gator? <laughs> That'd be a piece of debris. Typically nice. a part of the tire. Mm. Nice. Okay. What's the what's the strangest trucker lingo that you've ever heard? Other than lot lizard. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking mine raider. <laughs> <laughs> See? I already got my power. I was gonna say we I, we I already about- have Professor X's hairline, so it works. We talked about trying to find the trucker dictionary and and quizzing you next time you're here. Well, I want to ask him a few more questions. <laughs> ask him a few more questions. Okay. Um, I know you're. You probably need to technically get to bed. I know. We're gonna hit you with a couple more. Yeah, like I said, like I said, I took a fistful of melatonin. And <laughs> I was just fucking around on TikTok for a little bit, <laughs> and then just put him puts him out. Okay, here we go. Okay. What is the most ridiculous thing you've ever done for a dare? Mm. Mm. I hopped in the back of a convertible that was cruising down Mass Street that there was a couple girls driving. Oh, well, yeah. You, right there is where you screwed up. You let women drive. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry. I'm just playing. I had to look at the camera on that. You know what I'm saying, Don? What I don't. About, I don't want to. I don't want them coming after me. What about you, Don? In What's, that kind of way. Or Ryan. Please, please send all comments to at <laughs> Rhino. <laughs> um, all your hate. <laughs> what's the most ridiculous thing you've ever done for a dare? Uh, I've never done any dare, dude. I, I did a. Oh. I uh. When I chewed tobacco, I did a double decker for ten bucks. What the heck is a double decker? I don't know what that is either. When you fill your top lip and your bottom lip with chewing tobacco. How much did you end up swallowing? I didn't swallow any. Uh I ended up like turning pale white and almost passing out. Ugh. Dude, that'd be intense, <laughs> man. That's a lot. That's a lot. Oh. What really sucked is right at like right after I started it. Yeah. Um, we had a company formation. <laughs> oh, I got dared. Okay, well, I don't even know if it was a dare. I was drinking, so I don't remember a lot of it, but I remember de- small details here, and not because I got nude. There's that small correlation is definitely not involved. Yeah. Um, I got asked because there was a lot of girls there. Stark naked, ran through the party, ran back to the bedroom, put my clothes back on. So I I can't remember if that was a dare. I think it was. That was back. Sounds in the, like a dare. That was back in the late nineties, though. You know. Yeah. You know. You were talking about the chewing tobacco. I know someone that was dared a hundred dollars to take a drink out of someone's spit cup. Yeah. Ugh. I won't do it. God, that's sick. <laughs> I was- had. I had some. Sl- I tried to dump some out the window and had it slosh up my arm because a buddy, my buddy uh, that I was riding with to Topeka, he, or uh, he told me to dump it out the window, and some of it splashed back, and I about threw up for that. I don't know why it grossed me out so much. Hey Don, uh, when did you go back on the road Monday? Yeah, it was Monday. I had a hang out for the rest of the weekend a little bit to, I had a, a little bit of an eye infection developed. Yeah. Did it last you all through uh, Sunday too or do what? Did it last you through Sunday as well? The, the eye, eye infection? infection? Yes. Yes, sir. Yeah, it, it lasted. It, well, it was, it was pretty much healed up Sunday. So you probably, I didn't know this, but Jason mentioned it to me and i didn't think about it would you have went to that um uh, little people wrestling show with me would you have went i i probably would have gone but you would have had a blast uh, it was fun if i didn't have the eye infection thing going on well nobody really video every, that you posted oh um, i've actually seen that guy before yeah, on, that's on ivar media. Mm-hmm. that's ivar the micro that's his name nice yeah. well you know he, they got that show 
Big Little Brawlers. That's on Discovery, and you can watch it on Hulu. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah they're, uh, Heavy Metal Mario was really cool. He was, I talked to him for a while, actually. The hat that I'm wearing right now is Micro Wrestling Federation. Uh, I bought it while I was at the show. I know you can't see the hat, but you yeah. can when you watch this episode. <laughs> Whenever you Jason wants to upload it, anyway, I'll get it up probably tomorrow. <laughs> That's what she said. All right, here we go. Ding ding. <laughs> All right, we got another question. Last question. Yeah, he's, he's, I'm gonna let you go. So his you melatonin's go kicking in. If you could have any vehicle, fic- or any fictional vehicle, such as a spaceship or time traveling device, what would it be and why? Batman's motorcycle. See, I was going to go Batmobile, so we we were at least kind of thinking along the same. The Batmobile it, Tumblr motorcycle. <laughs> at least this is bigger print. I don't need my damn glasses yeah. for it. Any fictional vehicle, huh? Mm-hmm. Spaceship? So you go Millennium Ooh. Falcon. You could go the Death Star. You can also go uh, um, the, the, the DeLorean. Mm-hmm. You could go uh, Kip from Knight Rider. Oh, you could, huh? Mm-hmm. Um, you could go uh, um, Christine. All right, I'm going the Millennium Falcon, Star Wars. Yeah, yeah, because I mean, you can time, you can't time travel, but technically, you would be in the future, space future. You know, yep. galaxy of wizards, wizardry. The Jedi Wizards. Space Wizards. Space Wizards. <laughs> let's, let's do one more real one quick more. Be- before he passes out. Man. Well, All we'll, right. I mean, this is fun. Um, ch- 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 well, try something. Yeah, oh, try. here we go. If you could have any animal's ability to communicate, Ooh. which one would you choose and why? Oh, I like that one. Wait, what was the question again? If you could have any animal's ability to communicate, which one would it be and why? Hmm. So I'd be able to talk to that animal in English or in their language. Any animal's ability to, to communicate. I don't know. So you'd have to speak in their language. Like, I, I think bat sonar would be kind of up there on my list. Or or dolphin, like the sonar. A dolphin would be kind of cool. Yeah. That'd be cool. <laughs> Uh, flipper. I don't know. I mean, yeah. you can pick dogs. They communicate by sniffing each other's ass and barking. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, I'm just trying. Now you got me thinking. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Here's the thing is, we don't know. What about ants? Yeah. Well, yeah we don't know how they communicate. Yeah, ants use a, they use a pheromone. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's right. They do use a pheromone. Well, and if you that's smash right. and kill one, mm-hmm. um, they will. There's certain types of ants that will come to that when you smash it because For it's like a self- distress. Yeah, it's a self defense. Thing. And sometimes they will take that ant back to their their mm. their place. And they have like a little ceremony for. I don't know if they eat it or <laughs> they. I don't know. Probably think, eat it. I think bees bees have that same kind of pheromone a little bit. They do. They do they a like, lot. A lot of insects. Pack. I think a lot of insects have that. I uh, I don't. I mean, I like the sonar thing, but now I kind of there's so many possibilities of how cool to communicate like an animal. Mm-hmm. That's wild. I mean, the chattering, different types of chatters from chipmunks and squirrels and stuff. Yeah, it makes you wonder how they communicate and what they're saying. Does, you know? do all, does that animal have a universal language or is it unique to that region? <coughs> like, I don't know. A, it was, does, a, does an American squirrel under, understand us? A French squirrel. Yeah, I'm curious about that. If they are a universal language, what is up with that? That's weird, right? Just for the purposes of this, yes, but with an accent. This is some stoner <laughs> talk. <laughs> He's like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't oh, know. That's a tough one. Yeah, like, it is a tough one. 
Like, what would I use that for? Okay, here's the thing is, I'm going to say some stoner talk since we're having some stoner talk. All right. So, we call birds birds. What do they call us? Think about that. It's kind of wild to think about. Why is my laptop not charging? Is it not charging? Is it about to die on us? No, it's not about to die. No. Oh, that's why, because it's not plugged in. Oh, yeah, you got it. Well, <laughs> that, that'll help. Yep. You are getting low on the charge, though. There we go. Give her some juice. Right. but Gives us more material to talk about. All right, Don. Oh, you want to do one more, Don? I guess I can do one more. Okay. One, one more, and we'll, we'll, we'll say bye to you. If you could have any fictional job or role, what would you choose and why? Oof. Mm. Fictional job or role? Mm. Yep. I would go CEO of Wayne Enterprises. <laughs> mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> Leader of the Avengers. For the money. You mean with Iron Man? Yeah. Uh, I guess leader of Stark Enterprises. Stark, yeah. Tony Stark Enterprises. Okay. Let me think. How fictional role? Yeah. But, okay. You could even hmm. go like Aladdin. Uh, what was uh, Green Lantern's alter ego? Or real ego? Isn't that like Hal, jo- Hal Jordan? It is Hal Jordan. That's right. Um, yeah. You can be the CEO of his enterprise. <laughs> we'll, just, we'll just all be rich. <laughs> mm. Yeah, okay. There you go. I would love to be, and because I'm a huge Star Wars fan, um, I would love to be the highest in rank of the Jedi uh, order. So like Yoda. So, nice. yeah. Yoda, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Well, that's a good choice, I see. <laughs> All right. Well, Don, thanks for, for answering. Thanks for being our first on this one. Yeah, yeah. We just wanted to kind of test this out, and I did kind of a little short little trial thing earlier, but yeah. to actually do it for an episode is kind well, of cool. Well, this works because he disappears for you know quite a long time on the road, but this helps to where he can actually be a guest every once in a while. Yeah. We'll just have to text him and let him know. We're going to call him. Yeah. You know, we kind of, I'm glad he answered this time around. Yeah. That's good. A little heads up would have been nice. <laughs> well, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks for joining well, us. All right, Don. A little, bit pl- mm-hmm. little bit of planning. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. A little. Yeah, impromptu. That's impromptu. So, uh, nighty night, keep your butthole tight. Later. Later. <laughs> Doodaloo. That was cool. I like yeah. that. All right. Oh, man. Some of these are kind of repetitive. I almost want to, like, I, I know some way. Well, when we do this now, I'm going to prepare a few people so we can call yeah. them, like Jeremy or Jeff or something like that. I'd like to call yeah. them. If we did it earlier, we probably could have called a few people. I'd have to have my cell phone down here, though, so we can call them. Just I, shoot them a text to let let's them do know. A few, I like these. Let's do a few more, please. And then after we do a couple more of these, mm-hmm. let's uh, let's switch over the kazoo for a few minutes or five second rule. One, I like two. I like five okay. second rule. All right, what is your best excuse for getting out of something you don't want to do? My best excuse? Mm-hmm. Oh man, there's a lot of this. I got um, four kids, so okay. I got built in excuses. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, um. Well, these days, I uh, morally do not like to lie, even if it's a white cell lie. Hey, you like that? I do yeah. that little correlation. Play on words. Um, I I just, these days, I'm like, I'm a straight shooter more than ever. And I'm like, listen, um, I don't, f- I'm not feeling the greatest today. That's what I like to say, because it's true. Sometimes I just, I just want to be home alone. Dude, I wear myself Literally. out. I, and I was like, hey, man, I just want to do an alone day, you know, by had, myself day. I had someone yeah. that was uh, asking me to help him with some stuff. Um, and, you know, I gave him the, no, um, oh. it's, it's it was for a wedding. 
that oh, they have coming up. And, yeah. And I'm just like, you know, I was like, I, normally I would, but I, I was like, I'm right now, I've been kind of burning the candle at both ends. Mm. And then I feel like someone, while it's burning, has set that some bitch in a scentsy warmer and it's just melting away <laughs> as well. So, and, and I've done it to myself and yeah. stuff, stuff will slow down. Now the kids are out of school, it's slowed down a little bit. But, yeah. But, you know, mm. baseball and everything else. And well, you spread thin. Mm hmm. Like our, hair, like our hairlines. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, but, well, uh, it's all right. I call yeah. it the, yeah, yeah, it's all right. It's all good, man. It's, people should understand, and the older we get, uh, our energy, we like to conserve our energy. <laughs> I like to save it for what matters. <laughs> Ooh. That's for sure. What is the most embarrassing thing that has happened to you while on a date? Ooh. You know, you know, I, I've been on dates, but I've never been the most formal date person. Like I've been like, hey, let's go to the mm -hmm. movie theater. Um while on the date. Most embarrassing thing? I'll go I'll go ahead and go. Go, please, because um, I'm trying okay, to so think. a girl. Well, I got a couple, I guess. Okay. I had a, I had a car that broke down, like, and we ended up missing the movie. We ended up not getting food, like all it just crapped on the whole night. Sounds um, like, sound like a frustrating thing. It was it was bad, and it was a first date. It was like a first early impression. date in the relationship. First impression. Um, yeah. But the one that tops that is. I, there was a girl that was going to KU, and she was still staying, living at home, save money while she was going to KU. And we were on a, uh, we were getting ready to go on a date, and I was like, "Hey, I'm going to use the restroom real quick." And the doors, you know, halfway open, mm -hmm. and and you know, I don't hear a fan running and any of that. She dropping a deuce. No, her mom was. <laughs> Yes! yes. <laughs> Pushed my way into the bathroom and her mom was sitting there. <laughs> so it wasn't as bad as like from Dumb and Dumber when he had when he had a date and he had X Lags. Oh he god. Goes, he goes, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that could you imagine if his mom was so you walk down the mom taking a dump? Yes, dude. That's awesome. Oh, I'm okay. I'm all right. So I thought of something, but this is, I, I haven't told this story in a while, but this was more scary than anything. All right. So I went to starlight skating rink. It is a uh, bar and grill now. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I went to starlight skating rink. I met this girl and I mean, I forgot her name. This would have been. 1996 maybe yeah it was definitely around that time i forgot her name i think it was cindy i don't i think it was cindy it sounds right cindy C cynthia. If you're out there, okay. cynthia i think it was cynthia whatever i don't whatever cindy i called her cindy for short yeah i'm sorry a lot i mean a lot of stuff i'm 47 so there's a lot of stuff i gotta think way back in the index pull out the memory bank <clears throat> okay so I had an old turd of a car called a Mercury Zephyr. She had money, apparently, because I had to go over to Shawnee Heights from Highland Park and go pick her up. And I met her at the skating rink, and we exchanged numbers and stuff, and I went to go pick her up. So I pick her up, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to get my story right because I'm trying to think of the memory. Um and we're sitting there listening to Skid Row. Yeah, I got the tape popped in. I listen to Skid Row. And we're making out and feeling you know, feeling each other up and stuff. And she wanted to stop. I said, All right, cool. So we stopped. Not a big deal. And she wanted to go inside. And we was out in her uh like just outside of, like in her neighborhood in this little secure this little area. And she had told me, because at the time I was nineteen. She had told me that she had just turned 18. 
Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So, but she, I'm glad that she was honest later on, but it, it, it ended the relationship. But anyway, she told me on the phone after the fact, I'm so, I'm kind of glad we didn't go any further, of course, from the feeling up on each other and stuff, because she told me later on that she was 16 and I go, why didn't you just tell me that? And then I would never have pursued anything. Right. And she, she was like, well, I like you. And did it. And I was like, oh man, well, you can get me in trouble. Right. Well, I don't think she expected me to break up with her or like break things off with her. And I did. Then right after that, I get a call from her father. Yeah. Mm. He calls me and he's a lawyer. And there's a law firm in Topeka off of uh, Topeka. That's why she had money mm -hmm. off of Topeka Boulevard and 29th and Topeka Boulevard back in the day. And, um, sorry, I haven't told this story in a while. It's kind of a messed up story. Um, but he told me if I don't show up, he's going to have the police come and have me arrested. And I was scared. I was like, you know, I'm 19 years old. I was scared. I was terrified. So. Once again, I have a turd of a vehicle called a Mercury Zephyr. Guess what it didn't do? Didn't start. So, I had to walk all the way from Highland Park, which is several blocks, all the way to this law firm. I get there. And I probably should have took and taken a bus or something. Mm -hmm. I get there. And I'm sweating. It was the middle of summer. I was sweating. I walk in, and I, and I apologize. And they wasn't. They wasn't digging on my apology. They said, why are you so late? And I told him my vehicle wouldn't start. And I said, I walked there. And he, and he was like, you making the effort, even with, you know, with that type of excuse, I mean, you know, I think he saw right then and there I was a fairly honest guy, right? So from there, this is when it all gets brought up about daughter being underage, blah, blah, blah. And I, I looked at him. And I said, sir, I want to tell you straight up. She told me she was 18. I'm 19. I had no idea. And he looks at her and she looks down. And he goes, is that true? And she, at least she was honest and didn't throw me under the bus. She was honest. And he told me to be more careful. And he goes, I'm sorry for putting you through this. Would you like a ride home? And I said, no, nah, man, I'll just... I'll get a ride. I ended up walking back home, but mm. there we go. Sorry, that's a long story. No, yeah, but that's dude. Scary. It know, is very the fact scary. That, that stuff happens. Look, it's it got me nervous just talking about it because mm. it was that was scary. I was I was scared. Shh, You know, very much so. All right. <sighs> Should have asked her for ID. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> got. It. Mm -hmm. Got one more, and then we're going to play. Yeah, a I'll try not to. Of, I'll try not no, to no, do no, a no, long. You're good. you're good. Yeah, it was like the history of the world one, two, and three. I apologize. What Sorry. is your favorite challenge or favorite way to challenge yourself to step out of your comfort zone? This right here. Oh, but absolutely. Not really. Not really out of a. Com I mean, because like our first couple <laughs> episodes, dude, I was kind of kind of nervous. I was like, dude, like, what if we look fucking stupid? Yeah. What if people hate this? Mm -hmm. And like. Granted, like we haven't really went out of our way to advertise, and most of our followers and listeners yeah. and viewers are people that we're friends with that you know are nice enough to take time to watch it. And well, it helps that I'm not bashful. Yeah, <laughs> and we've gotten and we've gotten a lot, dude. Because I went back and watched our first couple episodes, and like, dude, we were kind of shaky with like ants. Not really shaky, but well, I'm new, I'm also new to it. -ish. Well, and a lot of times when I do Todd the Bod's gym. Mm -hmm. especially in the beginning um i i wing that you know the intro and all that stuff mm -hmm. and man i had to re-record it a couple of times because i'd mess up my lines or whatever and we freestyle this you yeah. basically you map out like the basic instructions or whatever yeah like, but then we just freestyle most of it because we literally yeah. like Right over there, we have a dry race. It yeah. says the title of the episode. Main points. And then, like, snacks. snacks. phone call, games, wrap up. Yeah. You know, 
But that's now a lot of things. I mean, podcasts in general do that. Well, but see, yeah. a lot of them don't. A lot of them follow a big jumbo script. Screw and that. I might, I might do something like that. What are um, we? What are we, Joe Biden or something? <laughs> Wait a minute. Hey, four more years. I did not pause. Know. No, he goes pause. <laughs> this fool was he, he was reading the teleprompter and he goes pause. Four more years. Pause. Oh, oh, what are we doing? We are going to do a little bit of five second rule to wrap up. Ooh, man. Felt a little bit of burp come up, and that Habanero mango so, came up with it. So this is an expansion pack? Yeah, it's like a little travel, what does it say, mini game. Pop culture, huh? Yep. I'm going to like this. I love me some pop culture. Pop culture. Um, culture. Look, see, now my goatee's getting long enough, it jingles. Think about when I first started on here, it was very short. How oh, fast that sucker. Look, it looks like a little Q-tip. <laughs> pretty soon you're gonna have to get me some food that will drip on this and just hang off of it here we go like the blood the name steak blood oh shit mm -hmm. you don't have, oh you do got your readers what yeah you want me to do it gonna say no 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 we're gonna split them okay all right here's the first one okay name name three movies tom name three tom hanks movies castaway big i don't know Catch me if you can. Uh, oh, big castaway. Yeah, dang it. Okay. okay, my turn? Yep. These are thin. Yeah. All right, you ready? Uh-huh. Ooh, this will be fun. <clears throat> Name three movies that came out last year. Uh, Transformers, Rise of the Beasts. Um, <laughs> that was quick. it goes fast. Where's the taller one? <laughs> it's the same speed. Oh, it is the same speed. Yeah. Cause other ones are just wider between. Uh, so they can see what it is right there. Um, okay. Do, do, do. Let's see. Oh my gosh, dude. This is name three musical festivals. Uh, Wakarusa festival, uh, um, Oklahoma fest. Oh dang! You're it. Out. Yallapalooza, Ozfest. Oh, uh, what's the Juggalo one with the ICP? What's it called? <laughs> uh, gathering Ju of the Juggalos. Oh yeah, gathering of the of the Juggablos. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that blows because they all blow. Whoop whoop! <laughs> okay, ready? Here we go. All right, name three Shrek characters you'd like to take on a road trip. Shrek, Donkey, and uh, Gingerbread Man. I mean, oh, there you got it. There's the first one. Yep. Good job. Name three Pixar movies. Oh, gosh, dude. I don't know. Pixels? <laughs> Toy Story 1, 2, and 3. Oh, <laughs> oh, well, Pixels is good. I like Pixels. I watched That's not movies. a Pixar movie. It isn't? No. Oh, well, whatever. No, Pixar is like the Cars movies. Oh. Dora, Finding Dory, Finding Nemo. <sighs> this game is going to make me look like a freaking airhead. You know that, right? Ooh, I'm going to keep it on this card. Okay. My okay, turn. Okay, go ahead. Nope. That blows. Could you imagine me asking? We're not going to do this. Name three Twitch streamers. That no. Yeah, that ain't going to work. There was one that said, uh, the, the top one said, name three Lizzo songs. Listen to this one. Name three Ted Lasso soccer players. Who the, dude, what? I, uh, Ted Lasso, I don't know. I've never watched. Oh, here we go. This will work. Name three fictional characters you'd like to be friends with. Uh, Frodo. Mm -hmm. Um, Alan from The Hangover and uh, Ricky Sinicky. Frodo? <laughs> I don't know, dude. I just <laughs> threw one on there. <laughs> wow. I, just, I don't know. I just like I was like thinking like fictional. I was like, wait a second. <laughs> <laughs> I got a nice follow up question after that. My turn. All right. Name well, three movie villains. Joker, Penguin, and but. Oh damn it! I almost it goes did quick. It. it did. 
I was trying to cheat and just do one movie <laughs> or one one correlation, you know. Yeah. Batman's an easy one, right? And I screwed up on the third one. I could have picked Catwoman. She's actually a villain. Somewhat. She's kind of in between. Mm-hmm. Well, this goes in correlation with uh, your first answer. Name three Lord of the Rings characters. Uh, Frodo, Sauron, and um, <laughs> Sam. Fuck, I don't Sam? know. Sam? Yeah, there's, his best friend's name's Sam. Oh. But, yeah, I didn't get it in time. <clears throat> a lot of these, I ain't doing a lot of these, dude. All right. Name three musical artists you'd let write the soundtrack of your life. Metallica, uh, Survivor, and Journey. <laughs> that's that's a legit shoot right yeah. there. I would, totally. I mean, there's other artists, but still, it's cool. This one's you're going to have fun with. You ready? All right. <clears throat> I got to take a drink of water. Hold on. I'm starting to sound like Brandon Dresser. <laughs> okay name three people you'd share your lottery winnings with uh ryan uh <laughs> my wife and uh my mom there you go that's an easy one right mm-hmm. how easy is that um <laughs> geez some of these are hard i know I just get rid of them i got a lot of good ones though Oh, here we go. Name three things you'd need for the perfect Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle hideout. Three things? Damn it. Dude, the Nuthouse Studios. <laughs> no, dude. For the Ninja Turtle hideout. I, I said Nuthouse Studio. <laughs> yeah. I mean, obviously, you I gotta could, have pizza. Well, I had a brain fart. Dude. Yeah. I couldn't think of anything. Dude, speaking of that, though, Weapons? <laughs> Yeah, speaking of that though, April uh, O'Neil naked. Did you did <laughs> did you see did you and any of your friends like in the back of your mind, like not even in the back of your mind, just out loud to each other, like think of how cool it'd be to find like an underground fucking building like that. That'd be cool. Like man. on Ninja Turtles when they found that oh, layer. Yeah. Could you imagine? Because they're still around, like nuclear. Oh uh, yeah, um, Fallout shelters. There's one dude. up on campus. Yeah, I heard there about there's a couple that. of them. There's a couple of them, and they got the signs on. People have tried stealing those. Well, signs. they were so scared about that, like mm-hmm. it's, you know, because when I was a little kid, they used to have drills to where we hide underneath a desk. Yeah. Here's the thing: is if a nuclear bomb drops, your desk ain't doing a damn thing. Nope. Yeah, simple. You ready? Mm-hmm. Name three. Comedy movies. Uh, Click, uh, Waterboy, mm-hmm. and uh, Hangover. Yeah. Ooh. Easy. Easy. Almost then, didn't get them in. Oh, the next one's easy, too. Man, some of these are, like, mm. my kids would get these, like, TikTok dances and... Oh, here we go. Name three child actors. Uh, damn. My... <laughs> <laughs> why do i man, ricky schroeder <laughs> dang it <laughs> oh dude i i don't Dickie like roberts <laughs> no <laughs> why didn't i think of macaulay culkin yeah Jeez, man seriously Doogie hauser whatever his what is his well the, pre- the pressure's on when that thing starts going i fixate on that and i screw up neil patrick harris right yeah okay uh. yeah okay ready mm-hmm. name three Funny TV shows. Uh, Saturday Night Live, Muppets, and uh, Adam's... Oh, shit. I was going to say Adam Carolla or something like I'm that. I'm glad we're not getting graded here. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Name three... You just said it to me. Hold on. Hold on. Eh? Eh? Name three... Oh, shoot. Multiplayer video Sorry. games. Oh. Call of Duty. It... <laughs> You can't, you you don't have time to think. You just got to no, blurt them. I did get three. Call of Duty. <laughs> there we go. Does that work? <laughs> Sit and spin on that. Oh, my turn. Mm-hmm. Here we go. I don't want to jump ahead on the two no, like good. I did last time. All right. Uh, name three. We'll do like two more each. Songs you hate. 
a uh, song that never ends uh anything by drake and oh, tay tay <laughs> um i'm not a drake fan actually i take that back there are some of his songs that are catchy he only has one song i like and it's like uh starter from the bottom oh yeah that started from the bottom is cool that kiki one was catchy too yeah, I don't like Lil Wayne. And either. then the you used to call me on my cell phone. Yeah. I just don't like my issue with a lot of those rappers, especially Drake, especially uh, Lil Wayne or Lil Lame is what I like to call him. Is I don't like the auto tune thing. Yeah, I, I don't think like the auto tune. It, it's it's all these rappers are doing that and now they're doing. It's whack, dude. It isn't good. If I can't understand what you're saying, good chance I'm going to turn it off. Yeah. I mean, how do they make money? I don't get it. I don't know. All right. Uh, Name three cartoon characters who would be scary in real life. Cartoon characters? Shit. Uh, Well, there goes my time. Let's, let's name them. Screw it. Uh, ooh. Because uh, I was thinking of actual horror characters. The thing off of uh, the... Off of uh, Courage of the Cowardly Dog. The the main bad guy, the mosquito guy. Uh, oh. Shred- uh, Shredder, maybe. Shredder. Yeah. And... Uh, I don't know. Maybe the... Slimer off of well, the... it, it was because of the cartoon character thing. Mm-hmm. That's what threw me off because I was right away. I thought of Freddy Krueger. Yeah, but he's not a cartoon. Even Beetlejuice, dude. Think of how creepy Beetlejuice would be. And he had life. a cartoon. The only movie creeped me out was uh, uh, and it's not a cartoon. I, was, I guess it's part cartoon. Is a uh, Monkey Bone was kind of a creepy movie. So That's was right. Coraline. So was um, I, and when I was a little kid. The Page Master movie creeped me out. Page Master was cool. It was cool, but yeah. Name three rappers. Tupac, Biggie, Coolio. That was easy. Yeah. That would have been easy for me too. Uh legit easy. <laughs> All right. Yeah, some of these are great. I I got a nice one for the next time. This is a fun game. I like this game a lot. Out of all the games we played, that one and the conversation one we just did was yeah. really fun. I enjoyed it. You know that we need to give Jeremy Woodward a holler sometime. He would love to play this game with us. Yeah, and, especially the the conversation. And now we can have guests without uh, yeah having them be here. Yep. You know it can be all the way up in KC or Dallas, Texas. That's where uh, Don was. Yep. Uh, what we need to do is film in a Saturday during the day. Yeah. That way we can call like maybe two or three people. Name three music gigs you'd like to go to. Lollapalooza. <laughs> oh, like an actual concert or I gig? I guess, yeah. Oh, that says gig. I should have said concert. Well, Lollapalooza is not around anymore. But I knew friends back in the 90s that went to Lollapalooza Mm -hmm. and Tattoo the Earth. And they said that they were awesome because they had Stone Temple Pilots. They had Metallica. All kinds of major bands, Chili Peppers and stuff. I would have loved that, especially Lollapalooza. You ready? Let's each do one more and then. Sure. Name three stand-up comedians you'd hire for your birthday. Rodney Dangerfield, Adam Sandler, and um, um, Big Gilbert Godfrey. You got it. I like Godfrey. But see, two of those are dead. I would have said uh, Richard Pryor. It doesn't yeah. matter. He didn't say if they were alive. All right. So I would have said Richard Pryor. This one's kind of a fun one. Name three roles you want to see Dwayne The Rock Johnson play. Different roles? Yeah. Gay porn. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I don't Why? <laughs> oh no! This um, is, I don't know. I just all I can think of. <laughs> I gotta say, man, I honestly think I I honestly enjoy. He's he's a good act action actor. From yeah. what I understand, he's a little bit of a drama queen. Um, oh, I could see him being, especially. I already he's a big diva. Um, 
That's why I was like gay porn, probably. But I I do have to say I I do find uh, John Cena's acting what? more so entertaining he, than his. If he was in gay porn, he'd be a rock bottom. But um, <laughs> um, I don't know. I think he'd be all right in like Terminator, a Terminator or a he'd Alien be, or Predator movie. Yeah, he could play a good, a decent Terminator. I mean, basically, all you got to do is be. I mean, all all he is is essentially a big ass, muscly guy that you give a gun or firepower to, and you smell what the Terminator cooking. <laughs> <laughs> you ready? Yeah, this one's pretty good. All right, <clears throat> last one. Name three actors who could play just about any character. Uh, Tom Hanks, Adam Sandler, Eddie Murphy. Eddie Murphy, definitely. Yeah. I would agree with that one definitely. I'd even go a or um, Jim Carrey too. Ooh, we got to do one more. I do one more, and I'll do this last one. Last all one. Right. I I would absolutely like you to ask this question to me, but it's all right. I look forward to hearing your answers. <coughs> um, ch- 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 <laughs> there's two of them in a row that were awesome. You want to do two each? Oh, here we go. Two each or no? Okay. Um, Two more? No? Yeah, sure. Okay, cool. Well, then we'll play ourselves out. All right. Name three Nintendo characters that deserve their own movie. Oh, dang it. Now I'm thinking Mario. Seriously? <sighs> Zelda? Donkey Kong? Well, he... Or Link? Uh, he Donkey a... Kong? Samus? Yeah. See? <laughs> <laughs> I You think I would get that? Oh, man, that yeah, grinds my gears, dude. All right. Name three video game universes you'd like to visit. Uh, Mario, Grand Theft Auto, and Mario Kart. See, Grand Theft Auto, know. all you got to do is go to Chicago. You're good. <laughs> <laughs> or New York. All right. You going to ask me another one? Come on. One more each. Then we're going to play ourselves out. Mm-hmm. All right. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, here we go. Mm-hmm. Name three Ryan Reynolds movies. Uh, <laughs> Deadpool. One and two. One and two. Uh, Just Friends. Um, waiting. <sighs> um, no, Waiting was Dane Cook, right? He was also in X Men Three. Yeah, because he was Deadpool in that one too. No, 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 no. Yeah, he was. He played. He played Deadpool in that. Ryan Reynolds was in Waiting. He was. Damn it! Yes, he was. Well, see. Yeah. That's the only thing about this five second thing, man. It's do you got to be on your on fire? Okay, last one, right? Mm-hmm. Name three ghosts you wouldn't mind living with. Uh, Slimer. Um, Let's say too quick. Casper. Well, it's that's just... it. Oops. I like this. <laughs> that game See, rules, and I'm glad that we started bringing some of the board games and stuff into this. Well, it makes good, easy material. <laughs> yeah. Um. What should we play? I don't know. Um. You name it. <laughs> let's let's do whistle while you work. I remember. <laughs> Mario? Huh? Mario or Star Wars? Do, 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 do. Uh, Star Wars. <laughs>